so it's uh, six in the morning which feels a little early for me you might be able to hear the birds chirping around me just letting us know that it is very early but today I'm actually pretty excited to be up at this time because today is the day that we're returning to Scotland got a full week of adventuring and shooting planned I'm just waiting to be picked up by the guys uh, and then we have a little road trip ahead of us maybe around 10 or 11 hours it's gonna be a long one in the car so let's just get out there So we made it to Sky. Harm little drive, but uh, before we continue, we're not quite at the final destination. We've got some important business to attend to. But we do. Walker clear. Got himself between man and ball. Sure. Watching his game. That is it. I mean, Alright, job done. Now we can go hike happy. Let's actually get to camp for tonight. Get our stuff ready. is there to do at this point. It's crazy. <laughs> so 
sun light for the day, but it gave us pretty crazy views today, so let's see what happens tomorrow. For now, I'll get this camera set up, get some good food cooked. Stay close. So we clearly made friends last night, but and then to that. I'd hang back for a moment and basically just give an idea of why we're choosing this route in particular. So last year we came up to Scotland in a video called Driving 10 Hours to the Last Wilderness of the UK and we went there because we wanted to go to the wildest place that we could find. We wanted to be away from as many people as possible and just see what it was like. This time we're on a mission to find what's been called the most beautiful landscape in the UK. So we thought well let's come here see for ourselves so we're searching it out got to do a little bit more around the coast maybe a little bit of climbing but when we reach it apparently it's gonna be pretty epic so we're gonna keep going get some shots along the way and I'll catch up with you when we know what this climb is actually gonna be like this little bouldering problem here. The path has kind of just become a series of rocks at this point, but this is an especially big one. If you want to see epic stuff, you've got to earn it, so let's go do that.
way. Right, well, that's done. Let's go reward ourselves with some lunch. Bacon. Some bacon. That looks so nice though. Kind of want to have a little dip. I do, so bad. But it will be 10 degrees. So, for now, let's go have some lunch and then continue on our journey. We're approaching one of the most remote locks in Scotland. I was saying earlier that we're not going for the remoteness this time, we're going for just the epic vista, but it's still kind of cool. Apart from there are some boat tours apparently that drop people off. That's cheating, you know, that's cheating. They didn't have to do the miles of walking we did to get here, so it feels, feels better that we walked, you know, even though the boat does sound kind of nice. So here's a lunch spot, I think. Hey Will, are you good? Oh yes! Break spot that down there is where the last one was. So we're covering decent ground. The sunbathing session is going on. So next plan is up there. So we've got a little bit more to do. Stocking up on some water. Staring at Will Bar. What happened, Andy? Incident getting water. Last year it was you. It was me last year. So yeah, yeah. Finally, it's, it's someone else. Oh, it's not sticking. It's not Marvin out to uh, scout for some water. Welcome back. So yeah, that means that trekking up here, we should be fine for water. finalize where we're actually going. I think Will might have staked his claim to that right there. Herbie's over there. As for me, I'm gonna keep having a little look and we'll be fine. Made decent ground today. We came from all the way down yonder. Walked around this lock, around another lock, came up, and now we're here. So I think that after a long day walk like that, it's time to just collect some water, get some bug spray on, because I've been bitten quite a few times, and then wait for that guy right there to go down, because I think it's gonna be a pretty amazing one. So let's find out. So, got our little base camp set up. Gonna be waking up to this, which is gonna be pretty sweet. And then, upwards tomorrow. Time to summit and uh, see what this view's all about. For now, it's another good night. I 
situation update. As you can see, the bugs have arrived. So hiding from the sun and trying to hide from some bugs. So I'm gonna have to just wait this one out for a little bit, I think. <laughs> Stupid yesterday, didn't really sun cream much. Thought about it, talked about it, didn't do it. <laughs> Hence the, the MacGyvered sun protecting trousers. Planning on setting off for the summit soon. Final prep's done. Heading up there. Just taking as little weight as possible, basically. Drinks, cameras, sun cream. <laughs> well, let's get to it. Made it up here. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome view. Best in the UK? I don't know. If you know a better one, let me know. But for now, it's gonna take some beating, I think. Let's just check it out, get some shots. Well, now we've done that, what do we do? Oh, a little swimmy. Oh, little Let's go. That looks nice. Water. Either that water or that water. That water. However, we're camping right there. There's a little pool there. Can you see that one? I bet that's slightly hot. That's where the concentration of all midges that come from. <laughs> they all Over spawn there. from there. More midges. Right, let's get out of here. Well, the tent is still there, that's a good, it's a good thing. Back down, uh, and now we have to go that way. Time to pack up the tents and get going. It's hard to put across, but the heat is so bad. Just to give an idea of the heat, that's my water bottle, and that's where the paint from my water bottle has melted off onto the black tarp inside of my tent. It feels like we should be on a Greek island or something. It's looking like a good spot to figure out what to do. <laughs> Have a swim maybe. 
definitely have some food. But yeah, so let's take decent spot. That's fine. It's fine. I didn't lose them. Didn't lose them at all. It would have taken a while to catch them. couple of days have been quite a lot of walking and climbing and we're gonna have to do it all again tomorrow and the day after so for now this evening is just a chill one resting up charging up stuff literally and figuratively just chilling out Well, it's about time to uh, retrace our steps, come back from where we came from. Hopefully the car's still there. There's the path. down there. It also means that there's just one more thing to do. Alright, well, there we go. Job done. We wanted to see the best view in the UK. Saw a pretty good one. If you know of somewhere that's better than that, in the UK or anywhere else, let me know. And uh, I'll try and get there. Get to like the winners, so <laughs> if you want. Don't really mind if you don't. If you watch this far, fair play. I mean, this is probably right at the end of the video. All right, anyway, we've got six more hours to go, so see you in a bit.